have you ever sat through a lecture and felt like you already know most of the content you are not scrambling to make sense of everything and new concepts just seem to click so much faster that feeling is in magic it is an actual strategy so today i'll share a simple learning technique that transformed my study habits and saved me over 10 hours a week of studying in the library so that i could do more fun stuff with my life at campus if i had discovered this earlier those painfully dull lectures could have been more engaging and i wouldn't have spent countless hours playing catch up after class hey everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new here i am renal i graduated from isb and bits pilani both of which are top tier institutes in india and on this channel i share learning strategies and hacks that help me ace exams like iit j bits at gmat and cfa level 2 as well as navigate my corporate career so my goal here is very simple to help you make your own educational journey easy and fun in today's video i'll share a personal story about how i stumbled upon this game changing technique how it works based on evidence imbibed in science and practical steps to implement it in your own learning process so let's dive in Bits Pilani had a zero attendance policy, one of the perks that we all loved. It gave us the freedom to manage our time, but it also meant that attending lectures was entirely up to us. I'll admit, I wasn't exactly a front row student for most of these courses. But there was this one subject in our third year at Bits Pilani, microelectronics, that everyone warned me was a true GPA killer. Determined to prove them wrong, I decided to take it seriously and attend every single lecture. Here is the thing though, despite my efforts, I just couldn't wrap my head around the concepts. Every lecture felt like a blur of complicated jargon and more often than not, I would find myself completely zoning out. I spent hours after class trying to decode the material but made little progress. Frustrated after a few weeks, I vented out to a friend who was acing the weekly quizzes. I asked him how he managed to do it. His advice was shockingly simple. Skim the material before class. He explained that by going over the basics of the concepts and what was going to be taught in that lecture beforehand, he already had a rough idea of what the lecture would cover. This meant that he could focus on understanding the tricky parts and ask questions in real time during the lecture. Essentially, the lecture became a tool for clarifying concepts rather than introducing them from scratch to your brain. It truly clicked for me when he said, "Think of it like painting a house. You don't start with paint. You start with a primer. The primer helps the paint stick better and gives you a smoother finish." So skimming before class is like priming your brain for learning and that's why this technique is known as priming. From that day onwards I adopted this technique and refined it over time. It didn't just save me time, it made learning more engaging and far less stressful. Now here is why it works. When you skim through material beforehand, you are essentially warming up your brain. You are reminding yourself of what you already know and creating mental hooks. for new information to latch on to educational psychologist david osbell famously said the most important single factor influencing learning is what the learner already knows so skimming helps you build on top of that foundation studies on the priming effect show that we are more likely to remember information if we have been exposed to it in some form beforehand think of it like planting seeds when the lecture waters those seeds they are more likely to grow into solid understanding also knowing the gist of the topic beforehand allows you to focus on the finer details during the lecture you are no longer passively absorbing information you are actively connecting dots asking questions and making sense of the material but the question now arises how exactly do you skim effectively do you spend hours and hours before the lecture going through the textbook not really Here is a step by step guide on how to implement this technique effectively. See, you need to set a time limit. Skimming should be quick and efficient. Spend 15 to 30 minutes max before a lecture or study session. The goal is not really to master the material beforehand, but to get a high level overview. Second is identifying key learning objectives. Look for headings, subheadings, summaries or bullet points in the material. Ask yourself questions like what are the main takeaways? 
what seems to be the most important concept in all of this text. Number three is jot down keywords. Write down a few key terms or concepts that stand out to you. This creates a mental roadmap for the lecture and gives you specific points to focus on when the lecturer or the professor is talking about those. Number four is create a mind map. Only if time permits, try to sketch a quick mind map to visualize how the different pieces of information that you just read connect together. Don't aim for perfection. The idea is to get your brain thinking about relationships between all of these concepts. And most importantly, approach the lecture with a sense of curiosity. If there is something you didn't fully grasp during your skimming session, make a note to pay extra attention to it in class or ask the professor for clarification. Now see, this method isn't limited to lectures. I've used it in every major exam that I've prepared for, from ITJ to BITSAT and GMAT and CFA level one and two. For instance, during my CFA prep, I would spend 15 minutes skimming the learning outcome statements before diving into the chapter. This simple step gave me a clear sense of what to focus on and saved me hours of aimless reading. Another example is my GMAT prep. The first time I attempted mock test, I struggled within the reading comprehension section. Then I started previewing passages by quickly glancing at the first and last sentences of each paragraph to get a sense of the structure. This technique significantly improved my accuracy and speed. This technique is grounded in cognitive psychology. Concepts like the preview effect and active engagement explain why skimming before a lecture or study session is so powerful. According to Barbara Oakley, author of A Mind for Numbers, learning isn't about cramming isolated facts into your brain. It is about building connections between what you already know and what you are trying to learn. So skimming helps you create those connections early on, making the actual learning process much smoother. Another relevant concept is the forgetting curve. Without reinforcement, we tend to forget new information very quickly. So by skimming first, you are essentially giving yourself an extra exposure to the material, which helps combat forgetting and boosts long-term memory retention. While this technique is incredibly effective, there are a few pitfalls that you need to watch out for. Number one is overcomplicating the process. Remember, the goal is to skim, not to study in depth. So don't get bogged down by the details when you are going through the chapter at the first iteration. Number two is skipping the lecture altogether. See, skimming is just a supplement and not a replacement for the classroom learning. Attending the lecture is still very crucial for clarifying doubts and deepening your understanding. Number three is failing to review. See, skimming before class is just the first step of your learning process. Make sure to review your notes or mind maps that you have updated and created during the lecture to reinforce what you have learned into your long-term memory. Now, to finish off, this simple technique of skimming material beforehand has been a game changer for me. It has saved me countless hours and made learning for me a far less daunting experience. Whether you are a student trying to ace your exams or a professional juggling multiple priorities, give this method a try. I promise the results will speak for themselves. If you like this video, don't forget to check out this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.